So this video is basically just me filming the Lawrence Hook 5 HDI. So I glassed in the transducer, which I really love because nobody can kick on it and this is like a speedboat. So, I mean, it's just like all the Lawrence's. You know, you got your, all your different options, which I love my, I have to have my maps on all the time. I mainly use it for the map and to see the bottom so I don't hit shore, basically. Um, I've had really good luck with this depth finder. It came with some of the maps as far as, you know, your depths. So this one came with it, but I also bought a chip, or it came with a chip when I bought it. It was a Cabela's deal. And you can, you know, zoom out, kind of see the whole lake. And it used to hold my trails, it still does, but over the season, I think they all got deleted, which is fine. You can put your waypoints on. All in all, I think this depth finder is awesome. The only problem I have is when it's dark out, I can't see a damn thing. I mean, it's so bright that I turn down the dimmer, the next day I can't find the option to change that. That's the only problem I have. I wish they had an easier dimmer switch. Now my dad just bought the nine, the brand new nine, which has like the flash for ice fishing. It has ice mode. This is all thick weeds right here. That's the bottom actually. And I know where I'm at, so I know that's what it's picking up. Uh, his depth finder's got the down imaging, which is really epic. But you pay for what you get. I think I paid $300 for this one. I have to have a depth finder. So it reads your miles per hour, your depth, and your water temperature there. But my water temperature, since it's glassed in, will only read right off the bat if the boat's cold. So once the engine warms up, it gets up there about 80 or so, or 90. That's the Lawrence Hook 5 HDI.